Future technology allows us to be teleported anywhere, and they choose to put us in a fucking lake. <laughs> Look at that! Two feet in front of me, solid ground! Well, shit, we couldn't have fixed that by any means. Just soak my shoes. I know it took me like three weeks to get them in the raid, but fuck them. Hopefully they rust. My aglets are ruined, so whatever. How you guys doing? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pwn. Enjoy the gameplay. I'm using a Vex Mythoclast, of course, after the buff. And uh, I'll also be using the Prius Revenge on the hip, which is just my baby. We know this. So this is definitely a commentary you guys want to kind of pay attention to because there's lots of changes coming in. Um, so at this moment, I'm going to halt you guys. I'm going to tell you guys to not bother upgrading your exotic weapons. And yeah, just take a break for a couple days because <laughs> it's kind of late for them to tell us this is kind of upsetting but we'll see exactly what happens lots of things that are coming more information so let's start with this right here um first things first new legendary gear uh the new legendary gear will feature higher attack and defense values which should be expected because everything else is scaling higher too like exotics just like you see the vex with a 323 attack now uh, legendary items will still require ascendant materials for upgrades that's good because i don't have 400 of them each in my vault right now uh, speaking of which, we need more room for that, too. Uh, this new, more powerful gear will be available for all players of Destiny. Awesome. And Legendary Guild will not be as powerful as new raid gear or exotics as currently is, because the current raid gear is almost on par of some of the best exotics in the game, if not better in some situations, uh, like with the Found Verdict or Praetis Revenge or something, which happen to be dominant PvP weapons. Um, new rank commendations. Now, this one's a pretty cool one. Uh, in addition to Crucible or Vanguard marks, purchasing new legendary items will require a Crucible or Vanguard commendation, which are received in reputation reward packages delivered by the Postmaster when you level up your thing. So, for example, if you are in Crucible level 5 right now and you hit Crucible level 6, you could potentially get a commendation received in the reputation one. Well, actually, it may not even be a potential, maybe a guaranteed thing. I'm not sure. It's kind of like the next level. The next thing you do beyond leveling up, because you know you have that cap at level 3, now you have to do something else, you gotta work a little harder, which is kinda cool, you know, kinda spices it back up. Exotic talent changes. Now, the final power node of all exotic gear will require an exotic shard, which we know already, because the materials no longer work on exotics. If you guys missed that first video, I'll leave a link to you guys in the description down below. This new material is obtained by one of the following means. You gotta dismantle unwanted exotics, or purchase it from Xur for seven strange coins. Now, seeing as how every exotic weapon only needs it for the final tier, that's not half bad. It's already gonna be super strong without that final tier, or stronger than it was before, so that's fine, why not? So, new exotic upgrading. Now, this is where things get a little crazy. Shut up, phone. Uh, exotic gear in the dark below will have higher attack and defense values than current exotic gear. For players in their current caches of exotics, a path will exist to bring them forward in the dark below. This is something we've known about from day one. We just never knew how this was going to change. We knew that there's no way that they were just going to create a batch of exotic weapons, and then all of a sudden when the new DLC drops with only two or three new weapons, the rest of them were going to be obsolete. There's always a feature to do this. We heard about exotic materials coming, but this is actually different than what people had planned. Starting December 9th, when the DLC Dark Below drops, Xur will offer players the opportunity to upgrade exotics to higher attack and defense values. Upgrading an exotic in this way will require an exotic shard. I'll leave a picture here on your screen. The upgrade will reset the progression invested into the item, meaning every bit of work that you've put into leveling up your exotic item, when you want to upgrade it to a higher attack value, is going to be removed. you got to start over from scratch, but that is only if you want to upgrade it. Now, I know this is going to upset a lot of people, especially those that are unfamiliar with this type of grind for console i mean mmos have not been a thing like this this is kind of a new experience that some people that have been playing on pc for a year know this kind of stuff um each week zer will possess a selection of upgrades for existing exotics in his inventory meaning you're going to be able to upgrade the certain weapons that he has and this is probably going to be how things keep going half of which are going to be armor so six of them are going to be armor and six of them are going to be weapons so even in the first weekend so when, seeing as how it comes out on tuesday zer comes in on a friday three days later he might not even have the weapon that you're looking to upgrade that weekend you may have to wait a week or two later so this is going to complicate things some people are going to get a little upset about it what i do know is while looking at some of this stuff the thing he was talking about I can see that he doesn't sell Ingrams anymore. I'm looking at this picture. He sells the three pieces of armor individually for each class, one weapon, and then he sells 
you know, the other upgrade equipped exotics, which I believe take one shard apiece. So the exotic shards, excuse me. So what's this mean exactly? Before we go any farther talking about the PvP changes, what what's going on right now is the exotics that you have, you're going to want to upgrade a lot of those, especially if they're pretty convenient for PvE. Now, PvP, generally, it's not going to mean too much of a difference. If you got a fully max out level, um, you know, 30 Shuros right now, you know, you're 300 attack and it's ready to go. You got everything upgraded into it. You technically do not need to upgrade that right now. At least it's not a hot priority and it shouldn't really be impacted too much. I don't think anything should change, honestly. I don't think attack damage scales in PvP. So guns like the last word, which are primarily PvP weapons or the Shuros or something, that's not like a must change right now. It would be more like the PvE weapons, like the Jelly Horn or, or or something along the lines of that, which would be pretty important. The Icebreaker would be high on the list of things that you do want to get that higher attack damage on because you're going to want them to do higher damage. So in the week that it launches, like on the 9th, I recommend you guys on all your characters over the next two days to build up and save all of your bounties. This is a strategy. I'd they save all of your bounties so when friday actually does drop you can you know upgrade those things from zur you have 10 bounties waiting and you could pretty much damn near level up a full weapon straight up to max with the bounties if you if you equip that weapon and turn in all what 30 of those bounties if you have three characters at once that's going to be pretty significant, especially if they're worth 100 apiece. So that's just one little mini tactic if you're ready to just start over. But again, some people are not too happy about that. Let me know how you feel in the description down below. Do you, do you like the idea of having to do it all over again? I personally do. I feel like it just gives another reason to keep playing and, and learning stuff like that. But it also lets us know that there's no point in grinding those out right now because it's about to be all just reversed, if you will. So with that being said, now the PvP changes. It's going to ex include two new exclusive competitive playlists not sure exactly what those are but for a while now the team doubles has been rumored so it's like skirmish but 2v2 instead of 3v3 um and i forget what the other one is supposed to be maybe a little bit more research i could figure that one out right offhand i know there's like 10 of them mentioned but we don't know which ones are coming uh new crucible arenas pantheon sky shock and the cauldron will be featured in the map rotation and they're going to try to mix them with the original ones and experiences will alternate between 12-player and 6-player engagements. Blah, 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 blah. Next on over here. One next on over. Now, this is another one you need to know about. The Heroics and Nightfall PvE changes. With the light level increased to 32, Heroics and Nightfalls will be increased by two light levels to keep up with the new content, meaning that Nightfalls are probably going to be at level 30 now versus the 28 that they have been so far, including the weekly Heroics as well. The max one will probably be at 28. Now, about the new raid, they have confirmed that Crota's in the raid will unlock to December 9th. For a while now, they've been thinking that it was going to be a week or two later, just like how it launched. It, it came out like a week after it did before the raid was not available on day one. So it is confirmed in a few days time, this will be unlocked on the 9th when the game drops. Players at light level 30 can lead a fire team immediately upon release. So if you're not at level 30 right now, work your ass off. Get to level 30 if you can. The reward system in Crota's Inn will address some issues reported in the Vault of Glass. Raid loot in Crota's End will drop at a higher rate. For all those people that were saying, oh, I've done the raid, you know, 50 times and I've not got full raid gear, that should no longer be a problem. You should get it much more significantly, like, common-like. You know what I mean? It's just like, you should get lots of it, more of it, and, you know, more frequently. So you should definitely have your maxed gear quicker than you had before. New raid gear will contain a wider variety of potential perks, which is pretty cool. And weapons and gear from Crota's End will not require us in the materials. Radiant Shards and Radiant Energy, which is new material that we found out about, will be acquired in the raid, and that will be used to upgrade new raid gear. On top of that, unwanted gear that you get from the raid will dismantle in the Radiant Materials as well. Of course, that's, that's how the majority of my materials are right now, the Ascendant ones that I have. So that's not going to be too big a deal. A couple weeks' time, you guys are going to have plenty of plenty of those materials. Uh, primary weapons will only drop in the harder version of Crota's End released sometime in January, meaning that Necrochasm uh, and, and you know, those other weapons are probably not going to be able for you guys to be acquired. That sounds... Uh, let's see here. That's, that's probably about three or four weapons. Um, so that's, that's kind of, eh, but you know, it also means that the, the hard version is not unlocked until January. Maybe they're trying to tweak things out, figure out how to do it. I don't know, but I'm kind of excited for it. We're hopeful about the changes making the way into the raid loot works. We're look forward to watching the streamers attempt the world's first to be completed. And I will be attempting that as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed this commentary. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I want to know how the community thinks about the whole weapon, you know, resetting. I can already see a lot of hate and a lot of people like, wow, man, I spent hundreds of hours leveling this gun up. 
And uh, yeah, I'm just curious to see how you guys take it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.